Drop a like in the next five seconds and school will be canceled this year. If you don't, you'll end up having Saturday school. The new Fortnite update 17.30 has just dropped and this might be the biggest update of season seven, chapter two. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to claim a free skin as well as a few other cosmetics, but I'm also gonna be letting you guys in on a bunch of the secrets in this update that you probably don't know about. Also guys, I give five subscribers every single day. So if you want the new Ariana Grande skin or any of the other skins coming to the shop, make sure to drop a like, subscribe with all notifications notifications and leave a comment with your epic ID and well if you plan on getting something from the shop either way please just take a couple seconds to put code doom in your fortnite item shop next time you log on it helps me out a ton and I really really appreciate it okay guys for number one I'm sure you've all checked out slurpee swamp already and seen that it's began the process of being abducted and while I say began the process because in the official fortnite patch notes they say to keep checking back throughout the week to see how the abduction has progressed so that could mean that slurpee could be completely gone this season and well due to leaks we kind of know that coral castle and corny complex are going to be abducted as well so that'll probably be later in the season but one small map change too are these new advertisement screens that are kind of scattered throughout the map and well apparently this is kind of a teaser for a crossover of they live which i don't even know what that is to be honest but apparently that's what it's connected to so yeah if you're wondering what those screens mean i think it's it is for this. All right, guys, and for number two, I guess this is sort of a map change, but there is actually three more NPCs that we can expect to see on the map. And if they're in the game now, I'll go and grab footage of that because I'm not quite sure yet. But if not, Beast Boy is actually supposed to be an NPC that appears in Weeping Woods. And then Armored Batman Zero is going to be an NPC too who spawns in Dirty Docks. And man, would it be cool if he sold the grapnel gun as like an exotic or something? but I'm gonna be realistic and assume that's not going to happen. And then finally, as we probably could have expected, Superman will be an NPC as well. However, I'm not sure where he's going to be spawning in. However, I'm kind of disappointed if he actually ends up being an NPC and not a boss because it would have been way cooler for him to have his own mythic weapon and stuff. So since he doesn't have a set location yet, maybe that's still a possibility. And for number three, we have some super exciting stuff because if you guys missed it in the Ariana Grande Rift Tour teaser trailer, we saw a small glimpse of the Storm King. And well, if you needed further confirmation that the Storm King was returning, one of the crystals that appeared when you marked his weak spots in the Battle Royale mode was re-added. So I know I am super excited to get that LTM back because that was super, super fun. And hopefully they have more rewards to go along with it. But they also added some new cube sounds to the files as well so i believe this could be for that ltm but who knows maybe when the ariana grande concert event happens we could see the cube return in that so i don't think it's very clear on exactly what they're going to be for but obviously i'm hoping it comes to, into the island as a whole Okay, and for number four, we have a bunch of new weapons and items that were added to the game. Since I'm actually recording this while the servers are still offline, I'm not 100% sure that the Gravitron is in the game now, but I'm pretty sure it should be. And there are a few other weapons that were added to the files as well, such as a modified version of the Pulse Rifle. And this one is called the Burst Pulse Rifle. So I'm not sure if this replaces the old Pulse Rifle or you can find this variant just randomly, but hopefully it's a little bit stronger than the other one and now we also have an official name for the prop gun this one's actually called the prop of fire and the description is blend into your environment by selecting from a variety of prop disguises so like i said i'm not 100 sure if this is available to use in the game yet i kind of doubt it because i feel like they'll be introducing these weapons gradually into the game and not all at once but this does sound pretty cool and then they also added a sword specifically for creative into the game so if you guys play creative you should check that out because they already have the mythic sword in creative so i'm not sure what makes this one special so we'll have to check that out and some other items that we could be expecting sometime in the future are a throwable fire axe that fire monkey found in the files all we have is a description of it we don't have like an image of it yet and then hype x also found an item called a medic pack that was apparently in chapter one that never made it into the game but this item allows you to self revive and revive faster so that 
that would be a super awesome item that I hope makes it into the game this time. But yeah, lots of cool items we can expect. And I'll have to jump on the game myself to see which one of these are in the game right now. Okay, and for number five, guys, Epic has basically confirmed the new Suicide Squad crossover set. It's officially called the Task Force X set. And while so far we only have images of the sprays, however, these obviously tell us what skins we can expect as part of this set as well. So the first one being Polka Dot Man, as you can see here. And then we also have Springing Harley, which I guess could be a whole nother Harley Quinn skin. And then also Peacemaker, which which looks like it could be pretty cool and then finally there's another spray called he's a shark so honestly i'm not too familiar with the suicide squad or whatever so i'm not sure if this is like a dude that turns into animals or something so i really don't know if there's gonna be a skin associated with this or what or maybe i'm just lost because i don't know anything about the suicide squad but yeah these are some skins that we can expect to be released at very very soon all right guys and for number six i'm gonna show you guys how you can get a bunch of different free cosmetics from this update so first off let's go through the super easy ones and that is when you launch your game you guys should get some new free styles if you have these skins so i got a camo variant of double cross which is pretty cool and then also a new style for the rebirth harley quinn skin called picky sicky and well i looked at this variant and i think literally the only thing changes our hair color it goes from like pink to just black or something so pretty underwhelming style i've got to admit i don't even know what the point is of adding that but there actually is going to be another free style that i don't think is in the game yet because i didn't get it but there's going to be a neon party trooper style as you guys can see here and that looks super super cool i'm guessing it's going to be like the j balvin style where you have to attend the concert to get it because i have that skin but i do not have it unlocked yet so if you don't have it don't worry i'm sure there's going to be a super easy way for us to get Get it it has been confirmed that if we attend the rift tour between august 6th and august 8th that we will receive the exclusive rifted spray but that was not leaked in the files as far as i can tell so i'm not exactly sure what it looks like but that's on the fortnite website we also know that if you're part of the fortnite crew and you log in between august 5th and august 9th you'll get these three really awesome rewards so you can see there's an umbrella there a loading screen and a banner icon and it turns Turns out this isn't going to be the only Ariana Grande related glider because although we don't have like official in-game footage yet it is in the files as you guys can see here so I'm guessing this is a glider we'll have to purchase however if you guys don't remember it was leaked that there were supposed to be challenges associated with this event because it turns out the Buffett event or the buffet event was the coding for the Ariana Grande concert or the Rift tour and that was supposed to have a challenge set with it and although those challenges I guess technically could be the ones in game now i think there's a good chance they would add more once it's actually happening in game and then finally guys they actually extended a free skin offer until august 10th it is the splash squadron skin which is the free intel bundle so you get this skin a pickaxe and a glider and i'll try to remember to link the exact website in the description of this video but if i forget to link it just literally search intel software bonus bundle on google and you could probably find the website you literally just need to have a computer that has an intel processor which if you guys have a computer at all it doesn't matter if it's good or not you probably have an intel processor so if you haven't claimed this it's definitely worth a try and you guys have about a week to claim it so try to do it sooner rather than later before it disappears Okay, and finally for number seven, guys, this is a quick one, but the next month's crew pack is going to be the progressive skin that was leaked a while ago. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have to do special challenges to unlock the different styles or the stages of him, or we'll get different stages throughout different months or what, but I just thought I'd quickly let you guys know that. I'm gonna show you guys now all the leaked skins that are in the files now that we can see. Of course, the Ariana Grande skins and stuff are in the files, but we just can't see them yet too, so keep that in mind. But if you guys made it this far in the video, please drop a like, would mean a lot let's make the secret word slurpy and i'll be twice as likely to add you if you comment that and of course if you guys want to go the extra mile supporting me and use code doom in the item shop i would appreciate it a ton but that's gonna do it guys enjoy the league skins and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace out